In this video, you will learn how to play Mississippi John Hurt's Creole Bell. It's a great song, kind of tricky as all John Hurt stuff is, but, but the left hand chords are really easy and we're going to do it. It's going to be great and you're going to have fun. Let's get started. Mike's music method. The intro is just a C chord. We're going to do standard tuning, but in the actual song, he's tuned a little bit flat. He's not quite at E flat, but he's a little bit flat from E. Um, but we'll do it standard here, and if you want to play along with the recording, you're just going to have to detune it a little bit low. But the intro is just a C chord. He plays this C chord. Then he does this back and forth between the fifth and the fourth string. That's it. And then one and two. So he has that. Then when I play the fourth string, I'm doing open on the first string together and one together so there I'm doing the fifth string and I put my pinky down on the third fret of the second string then it's back to open on the high E string with that fourth string thumb That's it for the C chord. So far we have... So practice that a bunch. Then we go to an F chord. So I'm playing the F chord really easily. First finger, um, first fret, second string, second fret of the third string, third fret of the fourth. I'm not worrying about playing the high E because we don't hit it as a melody note. And then I'm using my thumb play the first fret that low string right so that's our F chord and it starts with uh, sixth string and melody note on the third string together sorry so we have together alone on the fourth string and then the melody notes alone on the second string six and three alone on four alone on second and then we have three alones in a row with a thumb back to six Six. Then when we play the fourth string here, it's with the second string. Then we go back to the sixth string, play the second string again, but I'm putting my pinky down on the third fret. And then we do again, but now it's open on the first string with the fourth fret thumb. So that melody is one, three, open, with that alternating bass line. So that whole F part, these two are together. One, three, open on the high E. So break it down one more time, six and three. Fourth alone, second alone. And then two alones. Right? Or three alones, I guess. Then it's together here when you're on that fourth string pinky down, 6th and 2nd string again, then 4th string with high E. This next part is the hardest part in the song. Um, if you've watched the Lonesome Valley video um, by John Hurt that I put up, it's also really similar this part. So maybe you already have it if you've, if you've got that song down. But it's a C chord again. Um, so we come up from that... part's pretty easy. It's um, fifth string C with the third string, then alone on the fourth string, and then alone on the second. So four and three together, alone on the fourth, alone on the second. But then this part's the tricky part. Um, so I'm doing G, um, right? 
right? Third fret G, open on the third string. Then B, second fret on the fifth string, back to that open third string. So G, sorry, third fret sixth string, open on the third string. Second fret on the fifth string, open third string. tricky, a little bit weird just because it breaks the pattern. And in proper John Hurt fashion, we've been ignoring the we've been ignoring the shoulder shrug. Oh sorry, it's the left shoulder. He's just like the happiest man on planet Earth. Now I'm doing open on the fourth and open on the second, because we're going into a G chord. Then we have 3rd fret down on the 6th string, pinky down on the 3rd string, right? We have that cool um, minor 3rd in there, so open and s open on the 4th, open on the 2nd together. Then we put both these fingers down, then it's 6th string and 4th, 3 and 2, 6 and 4. Then you go back to open on the 4th string with open on the 2nd. So back to where you were. Cool. Then you do six string and open on the third. E string. It's like a regular G chord there. Kind of tricky. Then back to six string alone. Right back and forth alone, alone with the thumb. So, oops, sorry. You start here, which is tricky. first string, my pinky still down on the third fret. Then I go to the first fret on the first string. I'm doing sixth string and first string together with my first finger on the first fret. Three, one, three, back to three. Down there, right? Three, one, three was the melody, but I did it with the fourth string that time. That's that whole part. Tricky. Do it slow. Yeah, we're getting there. Now we end the first phrase because um, then it repeats very similarly. So we're almost there actually because um, it repeats and has a different ending. Now we end the first phrase just on a C chord. The thumb's doing a, a four note pattern. Um, fourth string, oh sorry, fifth, fourth, sixth, fourth, but I'm moving my third finger there. Uh, fifth, fourth, and then when I go to the sixth, I'm moving this ring finger of my left hand down to that low G. Right, I'm just moving to this G in the bass. And it's, um, uh, dun, 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 dun. oh, it's this. First note has open with it on the high E. I need those open again there. So five and one, then open again on the first string, one. And now we're already right back to where we started. So we have that, um, right? That's the first thing we did at the beginning there. Open E, third fret on the second string, open E. So then the whole thing repeats. Um, so we have that ending. Uh, back to the top, F. Walk that C. Then that G part. 
Now here it changes. Before we did, um, now the second time around, um, we walk down. So I have G alone, then I'm doing fourth string, first fret with my first finger down, so it's a G7 chord. Then I'm doing open on the first string. And I'm putting my pinky down on the second uh, string, third fret. Um, one open D. Then back to the C. But the second time, instead of doing the high E on that C, I'm doing the second string. Still walking that bass between fifth, fourth, sixth, fourth, fifth, fourth, sixth, fourth, right? Moving this ring finger to get that bass note. And that's the entire song. I'm going to show you the cool little ending though as well. We have C, G, F sharp, F, C, and the C chord. Let's do it all again here for fun. I realize that what that's exactly what we need right now. It's too bad John Hurt is not around with us today. Because John Hurt during the coronavirus, he'd just be walking down the street. With his guitar. Walking to the grocery store. You know he'd still be shoulder shrugging. Smiling. Happy as ever.